Hello Interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Um, I've just switched on the camera for a routine job that's just turned interesting. Um, I've been replacing the LCD panel on this Toshiba laptop uh, and uh, upon turning on with the new panel there was no backlight, um, which is always a very depressing thing to happen. Um, so I took the laptop apart to inspect to see if maybe there was a loose cable or something and firstly the laptop was chopped full of dust, it was horrid. This thing is just full of grit and grot and it's disgusting. Um, however, next to the display connector, as you can clearly see, we have a very obvious burn mark. Now I have cleaned this up to make it clearer. There was a big black mark over this area and um, there was a blob about there of what probably used to be some kind of component. Now what's happened here is this is the power line to the backlight and it's obviously blown. Uh, now, I have mentioned in previous videos about backlight repairs that if you have an LED LCD panel and the backlight isn't working, it's either the panel or there's something wrong to the with the power supply to the backlight. Now, because there's no inverter on an LED backlight, this is the next thing in the chain. So this is the rare occurrence where it's a motherboard fault. It doesn't happen very often, but it's not unheard of, and as you can see, it's a very real thing. So to fix it, what I'm gonna do, I'm literally just gonna get my soldering iron and just try and bridge that gap. This is, a, this is an all or nothing shit or bust repair. Um, if it doesn't work, I'll blow up the motherboard. Um, if it does work, I'll save the laptop. So it's worth a shot. However, just an interest thing, I will be plugging in the smashed LCD panel to test with, just in case I blow up the panel as well. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna get my soldering iron out, warm that up, and we'll see if we can save this thing. Okay, right, so this is turning into a bit of a fiddly job, so I'm coming at trying something a little bit different. Okay, so. We'll replace that surface mount component in a minute. Firstly, I'm just going to put a little bit of wire across to bridge this gap. Ah. Soldering iron is just sponging solder here. Poor thing keeps getting stuck in my uh, soldering irons. Well, and it's probably very fried. Right, that is in position. Man, fuck knows if that's done a good enough job or not. Let's find out. Not pretty. Let's put some power on this and see if my testing panel lights up. So this is the testing panel. And the power. Ah! <laughs> Unbelievable, it actually works. That horrid solder job actually works. There we go, you guys. If I had micro soldering equipment and a bit more talent, I would be able to do a much neater job of it. However, we have just successfully fixed the backlight power supply. Right, let's get this thing put back together. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.